Suppose we want to categorize all of the world's legal systems. Can we rely on the distinction between code law and common law systems? Many authors suggest not. Here's a table from Matthias Seems' textbook. It shows five different authors' attempts at classifying legal systems. The authors are presented down the rows and different countries along the columns. The cells give the category for each country. The most parsimonious classification is from Glenn, who uses the civil law and common law distinction, with five other categories which are mostly religious in origin. The most expansive classification is from Zweigert and Kotz, who break down the code law categories into Romanistic and Germanic traditions, and who give Japan and China their own categories entirely. In between, you have efforts like Laporta and colleagues who distinguish between French, German and English origin and are happy to code some countries, particularly those in North Africa, as having a French origin when other authors focus on the elements of Islamic law present. As you can imagine, I have lots of questions about these attempts at categorization. Here are three initial thoughts. First, some countries get given a particular categorization despite clear historical evidence that they borrowed from other countries. For example, Glenn categorizes Japan as being a Confucian system. But historically, much of Japanese commercial law was based on the German civil code. The argument for considering Japan a Confucian system is stronger if you look at criminal law, but if you say well, it depends which area of law you look at, then it sounds like we can't meaningfully categorise Japanese law as such, only Japanese criminal law or Japanese commercial law. Second, some countries are given their own category. India, for example, is described as a Hindu legal system. Again, a categorisation which works a lot better for family law than, say, for constitutional law. But is it a good property of a categorization that some countries are treated as sui generis or unique? Third, some categorizations depend much more clearly on legal origins rather than what's presently the case. That's very true for the categorization from Laporta and colleagues. Focusing on origins makes the task of classification much easier. We can focus on history rather than harder to grasp features like the texture of law and its application. But the more emphasis we place on legal origins, the harder it is to make comparisons over time. Hong Kong, for example, would always fall under the English origin category regardless of the practical changes in the law at present.